Hello and welcome, Alec, Drawing and Dragons. You know the usual deal. Today, I'm going to be actually getting back to my roots and doing some more art, doing something a little bit different. Uh, I decided to this time go with a very different style. Uh, it is a city map, but it is very different. Um, it uses sort of similar to the style that I've done with my regional maps, and I thought, Maybe I should try this out. And my one of my players, uh, actually my brother, who now joined our group, said, yeah, that'd actually be really cool to see a town map, but in this style. Instead of my usual sort of cartoonish, very colorful, this is a little bit more sketchy. Um, and so this is Lois Denvo. It's a pretty normal city as far as, like, fantasy tropes go. It's got three different rivers that sort of intersect around it. It has a group of furbolgs that are in it. It has a, a bit of a clash between the rich and the poor. All of those good things that make a great D&D uh, &D city. I don't intend my players to spend a ton of time here, so I only listed a couple shops and inns and places, and it's a smaller city surrounded by a lot of forest. Anyway, let's get into the actual drawing. So my first step here is my rough plan. I ha have a general idea at this point of what I kind of want. I want three rivers intersecting around a city. And so I need to make sure I create sort of a topographical map because that's going to tell me where the high and low points are. And usually castles and keeps are built on higher points. So I decided that the old city is here on the right and that's where my keep will go, where the newer city is across the river. Um, because whoever was building here originally would probably build their city first on one side of a river and then they would build across because the river allows a very defensive uh, option. Uh, going into these trees, I kind of just did the edges, the rivers, I did really like thick, scratchy lines. Again, I'm doing a sort of a sketch style, and I, I actually enjoyed it. Um, I think by the end of it, it turned out pretty well. It did mean, though, that I had to go over a couple lines again, especially with the walls. I had to go through like multiple times to make sure they're the proper like thickness and proper like darkness, um, simply because I didn't want to change brush size. I wanted to maintain the size I had. This is sort of planning of the streets and where they're going to be going. Because um, I don't want to draw the streets themselves because it's a smaller city. So I instead want to draw the buildings individually instead of drawing large districts like I've done with some of my past maps. So I'm drawing all the buildings individually. I uh, had to check with one of my players, again, my brother, Jack, shout out to Boba Kanush, um, to see which style sort of fit the best, um, which one fit the rest of the map. And so I tried a couple styles off camera, off recording, and I ended up going with this style, which is drawing the buildings individually and shading them in fully, uh, which you'll see me do towards the end here. Uh, a little bit of history on Lois Denvo. It's, again, like I said, was a pretty small settlement originally, but it ended up being a very central point for the Cran territory because it has three rivers going through it, which is where a lot of travel and a lot of people live is on the river, and boats are easier than walking and horses and things. So it, it's pretty natural that this place actually grew pretty fast and is still growing. Um, there are plans to maybe move some of those farms in the south, do some more logging and expansion. You'll notice I put these white dots on the map. I end up not being very happy with them. I turned them off, and then later on I put I did turn them back on and change them a bit. But I wanted to somehow indicate where my players could go and like where certain shops were, but I didn't want to do like a very cartoonish solid white or something. I wanted to make it fit the style. And you'll notice I did the same with the labels too. And I made it sort of this white sort of scratchy as if the map creator used chalk and like sort of scratched it on there. Um, and then wrote over it in pen or something. And obviously the writing itself is just font because I want it to be legible. I want my players to be able to read it. Um, same thing with these buildings. Filling them in, I could have definitely have just used a wider brush to fill them in, but I wanted to keep that similar scratchy sort of look to them. It did take quite a while to fill them all in. It was probably the most labor-intensive part of all this, but oh well. The last thing I, des I decided was I needed some color. I, I It's hard for me to make a map without some color, and I think it ended up turning out really well. The rivers, at first, I was a little bit nervous about, but I think overall... It was pretty good. And then this last bit here as I'm finishing up is just adding some texturing, some smudging to make it look a little bit more handmade. Um, so I'm going through and using a clipping mask, a couple actually, and I'm sort of smudging the work in different colors, different shades, and different amounts. Overall, though, that is it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to check out more maps, I've made other city maps before. If you want to download this, I'll have links down in the description below, and you can feel free to check it out. Um, Otherwise, that is it. Again, this is Alec on Drawing and Dragons. If you have a map you want me to draw, if it's a town map, be it a, a fantasy map at all, let me know, and I will give it my best. I will try to draw it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day, everyone.